All right, I just changed the oil on my new 22 Tundra at 1,000 miles, and there's no video online of anyone showing the process. It's pretty straightforward, but I wanna put something up there. I'm not gonna change my oil again from scratch just for the video, but I'll walk you guys through how to do it. Uh, you're gonna need an oil filter, drain pan, uh, oil filter wrench, a 14 millimeter socket, funnel, a piece of plastic tubing that has a 15 millimeter interior diameter. And if you want as much room as possible when you take out the oil filter, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket as well. So first things first, after you've got all your stuff, you're gonna pop your hood, take off your uh, oil cap, and then we climb under, Grab your 14 millimeter socket. And slide your drain pan back here. Underneath your oil pan. Get up there, crank that, take off your um, oil pan plug, put it off to the side. Let your oil drain completely into your drain pan it's going to be 7.7 .7 quarts, so make sure you have a big enough drain pan to take care of that. Sorry about the noise, I live on a relatively busy street and we have on-street parking. Um, okay, so once you've taken off your plug and drained your oil completely, go ahead and wipe that off, put your plug back on, and... gonna slide over here and look at the oil filter uh, you can see it hiding in there right there that's your oil filter right there so when you know where that is and keep in mind this is gonna be a lot easier if you get in the truck lower your air dam then take your 12 millimeter socket and remove the carbon fiber skid plate. That's gonna give you as much room as possible. I just didn't feel it was necessary. I, I was able to do it without taking all that off and I didn't want the headache. So um, do that if you so wish, um, but I, I think it's almost as easy to just leave it there. All right, so you see your oil filter in there. That's what we're gonna be taking off. You will also see underneath that, is a bit of plastic tubing. Reach for this here. That's the end of it. I put it up through this gap right here and connected it to this little catch, which is directly underneath your oil filter. That's designed to catch the spillover when you remove your filter. And if you attach that 15 millimeter interior diameter, plastic tubing that's going to catch all the mess that you would otherwise create so make sure you put that on there run it down to your drain pan before you do this next step but uh, once you've done that you will grab your ratchet try and do it one-handed here pop your filter remover on there and there's no way you're gonna see me reach up there um, there's just not enough space to film it while I'm doing that. But you'll take your ratchet, reach it in there, and crank it. It's it's not on there especially tight. doesn't need to be super tight. Uh, but take that off. Then your oil will drain. Um, the oil that you have in your filter will drain. Man, I can't get the light in there. There it is. Your oil and your filter will drain through that uh, bit of plastic tubing into your drain pan here. Uh, once that is good and drained, then you will get your brand new filter, grab your filter wrench again, and tighten the new filter on. Then you will 
remove the tubing. I'll see if I can do that. Yep, there we go. So got the tubing out. We're good there. Uh, so as of this point, your oil pan plug is back on. Your filter is screwed in. Uh, all the drain oil is drained from your truck. Then you will pop up here, grab funnel, pop it into your port there and fill it with 7.7 .7 quarts of zero W20 oil. Now, once that's done, put your cap back on. We'll hop into the truck. Start her up. All right, and I'm getting a message that says my hood's open. Press the back button to get rid of that. Then you will cycle over with this button to settings. You'll scroll all the way down to vehicle settings. Press OK there. That'll take you to your vehicle settings. Scroll down again, go to oil maintenance, and then reset data. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to reset my data. Um, but once you've done that, you're good to go. All your caps are back on, plugs are back in, all your drain, or uh, you got new oil in your truck, and you're good to go.